Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Keegan. I'm the owner of Floofy Studios, a studio dog photography company in Vancouver. If you have no idea what studio dog photography is, make sure you go check us out on Instagram at Floofy Studios. If you're watching this video, you won't regret it. <laughs> How do I get these dogs mid-catching tree in the most goofiest faces? Well, that is what today's video is going to be all about. I'm sharing my tips and tricks on how I get the goofiest dog catching treat photos. Because if I'm being honest with you guys, they're my favorite ones. I love a good peanut butter face with a tongue out and just like goofy expression, but the treat catching photos has been kind of a a little goal of mine. I follow a lot of photographers as I've been building my company, my business, and the one thing that I was just, I really struggled with was getting these awesome treat catching photos. And yes, a lot of it had to do with the camera equipment I had, which I'll talk a little bit about later in this video, but it was really just my technique. So stay tuned and let's just dive right into it. Tip number one, like I said, you do need the right type of camera equipment. And by this, I mean most likely a DSLR. And if you're trying to get the studio look like myself, you're going to need some sort of lighting system as well, such as strobe lights or on-camera flashes, something like that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on to what I actually use. If you're curious, I did a video last week of what's in my camera bag, so I would go check that out. So tip number two, you're gonna wanna have a dog that can actually catch a treat or at least attempt to catch a treat. You'd be surprised the amount of dogs that actually come into my studio that just don't even go for it at all. They can be treat motivated, but you toss a treat at them and it's just like, what? <laughs> I love dogs so much. So how can you teach your dog how to catch a treat? Well, it's really simple. Find something that's really high value for them, whether that be a little piece of cheese or a really special toy even works as well. High value treats, it does not matter what it is. Every dog is going to have a different high value treat, but chop them up into little pieces, keyword little pieces, because this is going to take a couple attempts before they actually get it down pat and you don't want them to get too full too fast. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is get them a little bit excited. Let them see the tree, sniff the high value, then do a couple tosses. So I wouldn't even let go of the tree yet. I would just like, <laughs> like so, and just get them interested. Like you wanna see their eyes popping out, that you want them to be looking at you, you want them to be ready for you to throw this tree. Then, quite simply, toss the treat at them. I go underhand toss because I think that's a little better, but to each their own. Underhand toss it, and if they go for it even at all, if they even open their mouth, give them tons of praise. Like, yes, yes, good boy, good girl, yes, that's such a good dog. Like, you gotta be that dog's cheerleader <laughs> so they know that they are doing exactly what you want them to do. Plus, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, they wanna eat this treat anyways, so just toss it at them and see how it goes. Keep doing this and do it every training session you, you do or on your walks, just, you know, when you're bumping around the house, toss them some treats and just continuously work on it to get them a little bit better. Like I said, this can work with toys too, so if they have a special toy that they really like, same thing. Get them excited, maybe play some tug of war, have them sit, toss it, and just reward them when they catch it or when they try to catch it. The key thing about getting treat catching photos is that the treat does not need to go into the treat hole. They just need to attempt to catch it. That's where the funny face is. 90% of the dogs that I photograph do not catch the treats at all. <laughs> Especially with my lighting system, it usually throws them off and they aren't able to catch it anyways, but that's not what we're looking for. We're just looking for an attempt. And yes, this can work for an iPhone as well. You just have to be in the proper light situation because as you guys know, iPhones are on a manual setting. So if you're in the dark, the phone will not freeze those fast motions, which will make for a non-treat catching photo. It will just make for a very blurry photo of your dog. <laughs> and for my next tip, it's not really a tip actually, it's just what I do personally. I don't know if it would work for everybody. I'm not, to be honest, I don't really know. But I don't look through the view, the eyepiece on my camera. That's just me. 
I keep my camera down here and I focus my eyes on the dog. I feel that it helps me with my aim because I have terrible aim and when I'm throwing the treat, if I'm looking through my camera, I don't, I throw the treat like wildly, especially because it's with my left hand, camera's in my right. So the treat goes somewhere totally different and I have a really hard time recognizing where the dog actually is. Because I shoot with a wide angle lens, when they're like right at you, it's hard to tell. And I don't want to throw the tree and cause the dog to smack their head into my lens because one, the lens is expensive and two, I really don't want the dog to hurt themselves. So I just don't even look. <laughs> I make sure my camera is focused on the dog, I lower it down and then I toss the tree. Which brings me to my next tip, how I physically toss the tree. What I do is, like I said, I focus the camera on the dog's eye. So again, this can be done with the iPhone. Just make sure that on the iPhone screen, you tap on the dog's eye, it will focus on that point of your phone. As for the camera, that will depend on what camera you have. I'm not gonna go into that much detail, but you should probably look up another YouTube video on how to focus your camera on your dog's eye. For me, it is simply just the AF button focus the dog or halfway down shutter for most other cameras as well. So focus and grab the tree. So now we have the tree. We have it in our left hand. We're going to hold it above the camera right here, right above the lens. And this is just a demo camera because I'm filming with mine. <laughs> this is my old body, but I hold it above the lens like so get the dog to look right here, right where you want them. And then very quickly, you bring it underneath, directly under the camera, and toss it upwards. So, the trick is to not toss it too high, because if you toss it too high, their snoot's gonna go all the way up to the ceiling and you'll lose their eyes. The trick is that you wanna toss it right, almost aiming for their chin, so they look slightly down at you and ah, open up their mouth like a crazy wacko. This will make for the best treat tossing photos. It's tricky, so you're gonna need a lot of practice. It took me a long ass time. Next tip is because it takes a lot of practice, use small, low cal treats. My favorite are Zooks because of the fact that they are small, chewy, and low cal, but there's tons and tons of different options out there. I also like, um, I believe they're called Fruitables. <laughs> and anything else that you use, if it is a larger treat, just break it into smaller pieces. It's not that hard. Whatever your dog likes, that's what you should be using. And my next tip is don't forget to treat your dog if they lose their treat. And by this, I mean, this happens a lot to my dumb Goldie, but I toss him the treat, it bounces off his nose, bounces off their forehead, and it goes across the room, under the couch, under my light stand, under the mat that I sit on, under their own butt. <laughs> like, they aren't the smartest. <laughs> But if they do lose their treat, make sure you give them another one so that they know that they did a good job. Because if you're just constantly tossing treats and they're losing them left and right and they haven't gotten any treats for the work that they're doing for you, they're gonna get frustrated and they're not gonna wanna play anymore. So make sure you are treating them if they did not catch their treat. If they caught their treat, just toss them another one. And my last tip is just don't forget to have fun. <laughs> This is a fun activity for you and your dog. It's fun to teach your dog to catch things. It's fun to take pictures of your dogs, obviously, or why would you be watching these videos? So make sure that you're upbeat, you're having a good time, you're not getting frustrated when they're not doing what you really were hoping them to do, but just keep working at it and it will all get a lot easier and you'll end up with these crazy, hilarious photos. <laughs> if you're still at the point where you're struggling to even get your dog to look at the camera or he runs in the other direction every time you bring the camera out of the sh your closet, make sure you check out my other videos. One of them is how to take better photos of your pets. So that's just some general tips on how I get the awesome photos. And two is how to get your dog to like the camera. So this is the strategy that I use at every single photo shoot to get all of these dogs photos because let me tell you for free, not all of my clients that come in are easy breezy beautiful cover girls. <laughs> some are a little nervous, some are a little skittish, some are stubborn little bitches. <laughs> Kidding, I love all my clients, but 
Patience is key when photographing dogs. So if you want to know what strategy I use, make sure you check out that video. All of the links will be below. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. And check us out on Instagram. That is where I post all of the cute dog photos that I take of my own dogs, Bruce and Sue, and of my clients. And that will be at Floofy Studios because that would be a useful thing, useful piece of information to add my actual Instagram handle. Come on, keep it. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.